you know, a little nerves, but good nerves. Just want to do good and just, you know, excited for the experience. Get a lot more workouts. What are trying to do? Are they, you know, trying to, you know, test your knees and see Right, right. Uh, a little bit, you know, a little bit of testing before. Not, nothing too much. I mean, they, you know, they already know. You know, you just got to kind of just get healthy from there. Uh, but for me, during the workout, was just, just, just put me through different movements, you know, certain ways they might see me playing here. And then, you know, just seeing my skill set and just seeing what I have. For people who don't know, any limitations at all? At right, uh, no, no, I'm fine. Uh, 100% healthy. You know, knees are great, body's great, and just, just ready to get better. Where, where do you go from here? Uh, from here, it's just, I got a Portland hit, so another workout in Portland. How many more do you expect? Uh, probably about probably about five more. Are you going to, are they all going to be solo workouts, or are you going to work out? Uh, I, I think some of them be against some people. I think they're still up in the air who it's going to be right now, but I think I'll do a few against some people. Where does your game fit at the NBA level? All right, for me, I think versatility, just because, you know, being able to stretch out, uh, you know, today the bids are different. You know, Anthony Davis, you know, DeMarcus Cousins, obviously, uh, Carl Towns and stuff like that, those bids that can, you know, do both. <coughs> you know, face up, like I said, and then still play traditional bid back to the basket. And, you know, just like I said, face up the guys who are, you know, a little bit of a, a threat, you know, who are a little bit slower on their feet. So, for me, I think I can kind of fit in those areas. How have you handled just kind of, the, you know, a year ago? You know, right. There were so many – people thought you might be the top guy right right among the top people. right uh, it's just tough you know because you just personally you want to do good you know it's one of those things you kind of dream of and you, and you work hard for it for me that's something i had worked hard for but you know i still work hard for this moment too you know regardless if i go one you know 60 wherever you know you still can make a living a career you know anything is possible from any spot so for me it's just staying motivated uh you know a lot of people who have went through what i went through my still might not be here at this point right here so for me to still be here is just a blessing i'm happy were there any part of you that said, you know what, I'm going to go back and right. I want to show people that I can be that dominant college player before right. I go into the draft? Right. Uh, yes and no. You know, you have thoughts, but at the same time, you know, it just, it's just a, it's a step in the road. And for me, you know, it didn't go as planned. You know, it wasn't as good as I, I thought it should have went and wanted it to go. But at the same time, you know, you can't worry about that. You know, you can't rewrite, you know, a, a certain journey that happened. So for me, it was just kind of just accepting it what happened and just moving on with it and just using it as motivation going forward. What have you learned through all the rehab processes? Uh, patience. Uh, and just, you know, kind of giving yourself time, you know, especially with injury because, you know, you kind of want to rush back. And, you know, with any injury, if it's a finger or whatever, it's going to take some time because, you know, you got, got to get back to using it, getting back to, you know, doing certain movements. And just, you know, it takes time to get back to full strength. What was the biggest factor that ultimately decided, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna push right. through with you? Uh, for me, it was just, I think, development and then as far as just health and on the court I, and just with, with timing too. You know, college is a busy thing, you know, with school, class. And it's still your everyday life. So I think it's a lot going on. You know, as opposed to this, you know, you don't have to go to class and you know, you can you can still do certain things. I mean, obviously that's any athlete, but still it's just it's just more time to do certain things to focus on, you know, my body and my basketball career. Is it helpful to have teammates going through the same process? Yeah, you? definitely. You know, you can kinda of talk to them, you know, throughout it. You rather it's Jason from Jason Luke to Frank, you know, even the Mills because you can kinda of, and even the other guys, you know, I kind of grew up with, you know, playing with. Because, you know, you're kind of going through the same steps. You know, you're all nervous. You know, you all want to do good. You know, regardless, like I said, whatever pick you're going, you know, you still got to do the same process with the workouts and just, uh, pre-draft stuff. So, for us, it's been a great thing. How would the experience at, good at Duke make you better as a player, as a, as a Say it one more time. Uh, how would your experience at Duke oh, make do. okay. you better as a person, as right. a basketball player with right. Coach K? And Right, uh, we do. It was a lot of things that, you know, for us, you know, obviously basketball is what it is. You know, you're going to get better at basketball there. But for us, it was a lot of lessons off the court, even outside of basketball, that made sense. Just kind of with, you know, interacting with the students. You know, we have a lot of smart kids around our school, people who's going to be successful coming up. So, you know, even from just living in a dorm where I was with, with athletes all the time, most only athletes that were with me were the freshmen that came in with me. The rest were just all regular students. So, for me, it was just, you know, bonding with them, kind of, just, you know, just getting a different feel, just see how they live, how they think about you, and just how they think about different things. It's pretty cool just to have that experience to internet with everybody else. And it was just a fun college life for me outside of basketball. So that's why I definitely appreciate about Duke. I got to enjoy the college experience, even though it was one year. How do you think you would fit on this uh, team? I think I fit on this team good because, uh, you know, kind of missing a, a four player, you know, kind of, and it's the growing program too, and I like that just because it's, you know, you got a lot of young players, but, you know, young players who are willing to work hard, you know, great organization, you know, great. And then players who play here, which is a great thing because, you know, the pride of, you know, playing here and then just, you know, knowing how they want the program to be, especially, you know, with Pedro and Vladi, just how they, you know, they like I said, they play here. So for them, it's just kind of just rebuilding the place where they play. And for me, it's just kind of coming in with a new young unit and kind of just trying to grow together and just, you know, fit in. I think I'll fit in great here, though. When you experience